If you waited and waited for True Detective season two to finally get good, well, time is a flat circle and maybe it'll get good in some other universe? Hey, I'm Megan Browder for 8012. TD2, a huge drop off from TD1. It's the latest proof that an out of nowhere entertainment success story doesn't necessarily guarantee that lightning will strike again. In TV, True Detective joins plenty of company. Remember the phenomenon that was Heroes? Season one scored a 94% audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Season two crashed to a 63. That season's finale had almost six million viewers less than the season premiere. The Killing season won an 84 Metacritic score. Once we found out who Rosie Larson's killer was, a 68, and a 37% drop in ratings from the season one finale to the season two ender. Not just TV though, there are some pretty terrible movie sophomore busts. Jaws scored a 97 on the tomato meter, with a domestic box office pull of more than a billion when adjusted for inflation. Jaws 2 cratered with no Spielberg, earning a quarter of the money. Grease 2's box office dropped 92% from the original. Caddyshack 2 has a 4% on the tomato meter. 4. Percent. Remember how sick Harlem World was? Mace went four times platinum with it. His next album, Double Up, I mean, still went gold, but it had no notable singles and even made him retire. Hootie and the Blowfish went 16 times platinum with Crack Rear View. They followed up with Fairweather Johnson, which got Fairweather reviews, an eighth of the sales, and placed on lists like 10 career killing albums of the 90s. So we shouldn't be surprised True Detective couldn't recapture the magic of last season. We should actually be surprised anyone thought it was possible. See you next time on 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. Make sure you like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. If we get to 100 comments, your next video is free.